There's a lot of noise about what's happening in our city. You see it in the headlines, often in the right wing media. They love to talk about San Francisco, don't they? You see it on social media. You see one video take off as if it's telling the whole truth about who we are. I know it's challenging with all that noise to really understand what's happening. It's easy to fixate on the problems. And to be clear, I'm definitely focused on the problems. But today, I really want to talk about what's possible. I'm done arguing if it's OK to, for people to remain on the streets when we have a place for them to go, because it is not. It just isn't. And to be honest, there are some folks who cannot or will not do what's safe for themselves or for others. So we have to be honest about the need to deal with those struggling with mental illness. And we need to make serious changes to our state laws. I'm working with other mayors from across California and members of the legislature to reform our mental health laws and to better serve our city and our entire state because this is not just happening in San Francisco. We need law enforcement to keep people safe, to make arrests, to hold people accountable, and to support victims. But right now, police staffing is at a crisis level. With just over 1,630 police officers, that's 250 fewer officers than we had three years ago, and 540 officers below what we need, we simply do not have the police staffing to meet the needs of a major city. And while we have more work to do, our police department has embraced reforms over the last five years, leading to fewer use of force incidents and police shootings and rapidly diversifying the department so it reflects the community it serves. We have to do better for families in this city. We have to get back to putting our kids first. Soon I will announce the new members of the Board of Education. As part of this decision, which is really one of the hardest decisions I've ever had to make, I've been meeting with families to hear what they want for their children, what they need from our schools. And I got to tell you, it was heartbreaking to hear their stories and what they've been through. Kids who had once been vibrant and eager learners now withdrawn, the learning loss and the mental illness the challenges that they're all experiencing. Our public school kids getting left behind even as private schools begin to rebound. I know no single appointment to an elected body is gonna fix all of that. It's gonna take work, years of work. Let's be the national model for reform, for alternatives, and for safety. We can do it all and we don't have to choose.